from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 492 for Thursday, May 25th, 2023. That's today. This hey. week, we have the store to ourselves. Well, Dave is here. Dave is here. He's watching the store. The Andersons, of course, are in Florida. Plus, we have banter news. Visconti and St. DuPont price drops, a contest winner, a new contest, and get this, absolutely nothing that is coming soon. Phew. Yeah. We couldn't have handled that anyway. It's true. It's true. I forget. Do we take a break here? I, it, or do we just keep going? I don't Justin know. Justin will fix it if I did it wrong. <laughs> it's been so long. Nice to see you. Oh, somebody's supposed to tell a joke. Oh, shoot. Did you bring shoot. a joke? Hmm. I brought a joke. All right, thank goodness. Uh, Somebody came prepared. Steph. Eric. What do you call a waffle on the beach? A waffle on the beach. On the beach. I I don't know. San Diego. Took me a minute, too. San Diego. (gasps) Yeah. It's a Mad Gabs joke. It it took me far too long. (laughs) But That's That's when we take a break. Steph. Eric. I happen to know that you saw this week's location bumper. Indeed, I did. It was where? It was in the city park, it or was... at least I think it was city park. I'm not used to seeing it with grass. That's right. It was city park. And the last time that we had a location bumper in city park, it was actively snowing. And I was walking through and I just said, oh, I'll take some footage here. And it was very pretty, very pretty. But spring is absolutely here. And so this is what city park, one corner of city park looks like. You saw that. It was the fountain. And then, yeah. as the, it was also the first time we've used a drone for our location bumper That's true. because it just went up and up and up, mm-hmm. and then looked out over, looked south, and you saw the spires of Lawrence University. Indeed, uh, halfway through that 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 location bumper, the IMAX theme started playing in my head, and we went through the fountain, and we were. Uh, it's probably. I'll have to try that again. And this, mm-hmm. there was there was an incident, of course, <laughs> with the drone. We should. <laughs> Uh, because after I got that footage, I was just playing in the park with the drone, and uh, I was doing this, and I realized I was too close to a tree, and I thought, well, I'll just go up. But instead of going up, I went forward. And just I, like up, except it's, yeah, different. It's up in a different direction. <laughs> Justin can play that, because uh, he has access to all this footage. He can play that, and it's everyone can real. enjoy this. <laughs> no, dro- <laughs> no drones were harmed in the taking of these videos, Right. Well, well, it got stuck in a tree, but it wasn't harmed. Okay, it, it was it frightened, was, maybe. It was frightened. We considered calling Shut down, the fire decided, department. <laughs> decided it didn't want to play anymore. So there's that. Uh, so I don't know where we're going with drone footage, but probably into a tree. Up? <laughs> Up forward? Forward, I don't know. So nobody knows. We will see. Tomorrow, Friday, May 26th, is National Road Trip Day. Hey! I, I like road trips. Do you like road trips? Indeed, I am... Going on a road trip on that day. On that day. I totally planned that. Very (laughs) intentional. National Road Trip Day is always the Friday before Memorial Day and is the official start of the summer road trip season. Of course, the best road trip you can plan this summer is a road trip to Appleton, Wisconsin for the weekend of July 21, 22, and 23 so that you can attend the Anderson Penn's re-grand opening pen party. We'll discuss that a little bit later in more detail, but... That's a good road trip. That is a good road trip. From wherever you are, mm-hmm. and I've taken many road trips, long distance road trips. And if there's a, a pen party on the other end of, end of it, that's that just makes it all the better. That's perfect. And it's in the middle of everything. So Plus we have City Park. When you live in the Midwest, everything is driving distance? Everything. Well, yes, that's yes, true. Ever- Except perhaps Europe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> just drive really fast over the Atlantic Ocean. Really fast. Really get, some, fast. get some speed built up. So you're taking a road trip for Friday, and this coming Monday is, of course, Memorial Day. Memorial Day, always the last Monday of May, is a day set aside to remember and honor all who have died while serving in the United States Armed Services. Your road trip, I think you're on vacation all next week. That's true. I think I am. That's true. Yeah. Missed. We'll Missed. miss you. Oh, I'll, I'll do I my best that, to do I the same. I say that for the camera, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be camping. I'm sure I'm going to miss everything. I doubt it. I'm going to... Oh, okay. give, give me three days. We'll three days. Well, three days. We'll see what happens. My phone will run out of charge. It'll say, oh, man, remember when I used to have electricity? But Oh, I remember days before phones. I mean, what? cell phones, not phones, cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we were just, we'd be gone and no one could reach us. No one knew where we were. Do you have to remember people's numbers? You'd have to remember people's numbers. Oh my goodness. And find a payphone if you absolutely had to. And have change. Or call collect. Anyway, <laughs> news. The first thing on news is the pen party. I just want to remind everyone that it is going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, July 21, 22, and 23. So if you don't have a road trip planned for this National Road Trip Day, it's it's allowable to also plan a road trip. Right. You can just start planning on Friday. Plan for, that road for trip. For that weekend here in Appleton. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Pilot's going to be there. Sailor, Penlux, Esti DuPont and Visconti. Lamy's going to be there. Yeah. Lamy. And uh, Carrie with Kenro. Carrie is, of course, Kenro, and he's Mr. Fountain Pen Day. And so many Kenro names that I only know in emails. Kenro, uh, yeah, we get to meet people. Face to face. Kenro will bring, of course, Estabrook, Aurora, Montegrappa, Pininfarina, Y Studio, and Otto Hutt. And, of course, Mike and Linda Kennedy will be there. So Linda does the nib grinds and Mike does the pen repairs. And there's door prizes all day long on Friday and all day long on Saturday. And speaking of Friday and Saturday, I think we should commit to being there. For that's, some, that's true. Some of this. I think on Friday, the 21st, I'll pick you up for lunch. All right. We'll go to lunch. And so we'll go to the pen party after lunch. Let's say we'll be there definitely from two to four on Friday. All right. That sounds like a, I can definitely commit to that. Okay. I, I think we can, I, I might even show up on other days too. Well, I was just going to talk plans, about Saturday. But, yeah. Because Saturday, oh, you have plans on Saturday. Oh, do I? Yeah. We're going to art at the park. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and that, we'll do that at 10. So right. I'm just making, I'm filling up your schedule. All right. Here. Perfect. I wish I was taking notes, but there's I, I, video I, graphic I, I, footage. I'll, so I'll we'll give it to you again. We'll go to later. Art of the Park at 10. And so we can probably do the store from, uh, again, two to four. Because we need a, a recovery moment from Art of the Park. Last year it was very warm. Remember? Oh, that's true. Very warm. That's true. <laughs> and so we'll need to go get some Frio ice cream mm -hmm. to cool off from that. And then we'll go back down uh, to the store. And soak up some AC. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. They're necessary. Uh, right here on the news, it says the Gandersons are in Florida. Were you aware of this? Even as we speak. Even as we speak, they are frolicking on a beach somewhere I in have, I Florida. have not been to Florida personally to confirm, though. So that, this is just the word on the street. Yes, I have, we might have to go to Florida and we, find we're out have to, As soon as we're done here, we'll go look at them. Road trip. We'll go find them. Road trip. And the last thing on my news is the vintage mailer for tomorrow, Friday. Ooh. And it's a big one. I it have is a doozy. I have four trays. Um, I don't know if you have any favorite pens from here. Ooh. I, I had Do one. Do we have the same favorite pen? You go first. I had one. Uh, it's not in this tray. Here's a whole tray of Estabrooks. Uh, Justin will probably throw in some B-roll here. Um, uh, but do make sure you're signed up for our mailing list because this will come out tomorrow morning, Friday, about 9 o'clock. Um, and I'm, I'm told if I remove anything from one of these trays, I have to put it right back where it was. More Estabrooks, Parkers. What is this? You Ooh. probably know what that is. You just named them. Oh, oh, oh. It's oh. a Parker, but it's a demonstrator. Yeah. It's 45? 45? 45 demonstrator. I don't know. Every time I have answered that question on a podcast, I've gotten wrong. it wrong. <laughs> Might be a 21. It's not a 52. It's a vintage Parker demonstrator something or other. Yeah. And there's a flighter. I've never even seen this in demonstrator. No. I mean, except for the last time I saw this exact one a couple I, days ago. I call ago. this a flighter, but I could be wrong. Oh, could that be. is very cool. I, I know like we those have ends. one flighter. And then lots of Estabrooks. I'm not pulling up the Estabrooks. We've all seen Estabrooks. Well, here's a whole tray of Parkers. In all uh, sorts of different colors. Ooh. This, and these greens. What are these greens? Olive green? I don't think I've ever seen them in this green. And that blue, this blue is yeah, lovely. Yeah, this teal blue. And then yeah. there's one that's that has the the full pen in teal. And I, that's that's a really oh, good color. Could be yours. Could be oh, yours. Oh, oh, oh. We still haven't come across the pen that I was going to say. You'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. One more tray. One more tray. Ah, da, 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 da. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's we do Parker have daughter. the same favorite. <laughs> it's in a, a, a swirlyish pink. The swirl is very difficult to see, uh, but it's there. And I've never seen one like that before. Yeah, I've, I almost, I, is it intentional? Is it not? It's so subtle. It's so subtle. I was wondering if, if it was some sort of an accident, but mm -hmm. it's not damaged in any way. No, oh, if it's an accident, it's a happy little accident. Yeah, it's, because it's that a makes it, one. would make it one of the kind. And then, do you know what that is? A pen. That's a pen. I win. And we have another pen. <laughs> uh, uh, I was oh. going to say it doesn't look vintage. But it must be. It's in the vintage mail. <laughs> See, this is... I, I've seen the name. It's yes. On the tip of my tongue, but... 
Yeah, well, we'll come back to mm-hmm. it when you remember it. Yes. For now, I'll let's... shout it out in the middle of something else. Let's move along. What do dentists call x-rays? Toothpicks. Steph. Eric. As you know, uh, the big news this week is that several pens of Visconti and ST DuPont have been discontinued, and therefore the price has been cut. Yes. And that went out on the mailer on Tuesday, Mm -hmm. and we have some of the pens with us, so I thought we'd just review... Uh, this first one at the top is the uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Demo Stones. I think yes. I have a few of those here. One, Do you have a favorite color? Every color. I It changes every time I look every at them. Every time you look at them, because I, they're all beautiful. At present, I think it's the green, but I... Okay, I'll give you the green. Oh, the blue is such a good option, too, and the red is really nice. They're very nice. They're mm-hmm. they're beautiful. I would probably go with red today. Yeah, that one. that one is... It reminds me of the Visconti Red Wine. Mm-hmm. But they're rather what translucent, you'd say. Yeah, they're like nice and nice and bright colors. Not not really like see. Well, they're see through. Kind of. Not. They're not mm-hmm. demonstrators, but. But very very opaque and pretty, and they remind me of little gemstones. Just huh. demo stones. I wonder if that's where the name came from. Fancy that. MSRP on these was nine ninety five. They're now six thirty six with eighty cents. So it's a good deal. Yeah, that's yeah. a a huge jump. And then uh, these are lava colors, and they come in what? Uh, Let's fountain see. pens and ballpoints? We've got them in fountain pens and ballpoints, and let's and see. And all kinds of colors. And now, these are a little heftier. These are. They're lava, apparently. Just like the, the original Homo sapiens in black. And I think they have incorporated like a colored resin into the usual the lava, lava from Mount. The white one. Edna? We're going to say Mount yeah, Edna. Edna. I'm going to say Edna. Edna or Edna? <laughs> the white one is unusual. The white you one always jumps out. don't see a lot out. of white pens, and mm-hmm. this one is very cool. And they are mm-hmm. quite hefty. How are those? These are, the ballpoints are also, they're uh, like a substantial ballpoint, but definitely uh, lighter than the fountain pen. Definitely lighter. Mm-hmm. But a nice nice feel to them. Um, pricing for the ballpoints, they were $4.75. They're now $3.04. All righty. And uh, the fountain pens, MSRP was $8.95. They're now $5.72 with $0.80. Cents. So uh, because they're discontinued, when they're gone, they're gone. Mm-hmm. Um, so I might have to take one home. It's true. All they've got. I, 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 All I, the best options, The, the white too. one is actually flirting with me, so we need to move on oh. to whatever well, these are. Before before we move on too much, you should know that the material that that white one is made in, kind of absorbent. So if you're worried about getting ink on a white pen, which is always my hesitation with white pens, uh, it will slowly absorb into the pen. It's a little bit porous? Yeah. yeah. The what, if you, what if disappear. you use white ink? Well... Like, well, <laughs> well. Pigmented white ink? It's white ink on black paper. Oh, I, I, there's one ink like that. Don't put it in your fountain pen. <laughs> Don't do it. Choose your color. Choose your color. Ooh, unicorn. Unicorn for you? And I've got a fire opal, don't I? Yes, you do. And these are the Kaleidos, I believe. Oh, I love these Also pens. discontinued. Now, I'm not sure that they've discontinued the Kaleidos. I believe they have discontinued these colors, and they're going to bring new ones in. Ah, uh, that's, that's my good understanding. To know. Don't quote me. Um, these are now uh, five oh eight. Goodness so th- gracious, these pens are so cool. That is a nice one. This one catches my attention, but that one is gorgeous. Yeah. Unicorn, you call it? Unicorn. Unicorn, unicorn stardust or something? I think. It's, we'll call it unicorn stardust. That's what I call Could it in my heart. Stuff. Okay, it is lovely. and that's what we will call it from now on. <laughs> yes, you. You think about that white one, and I will think uh, about you mean that the white unicorn. one I've already removed from the tray. <laughs> <laughs> An opera master, and this is the Savannah Savannah. Yeah. Uh, really nice. Have you? You've mm-hmm. probably Obvious. never written with one. I have never written with one. Every time I pick them up, I'm like, ooh. These ooh, these this is... opera masters are many people's grail pens. They just feel really nice. They're beautiful. That's exactly what I was going to say too. This just feels really nice, like. It's not the heaviest pen I've ever had. It's not the lightest pen I've ever had. It's just that perfect balance, and it's a little bit heavier near the tip, and it's a little heavier near the nib, and it just feels perfectly designed. Yeah, it's hard to pass this one up. 
Um, and it's the only one we have in Savannah. And the MSRP was eleven fifty, and they're now seven ninety five. Uh, it's almost so half off. Obviously, they're not discontinuing the Opera Master. They're just going to bring in new colors. And you know what these are. You did before the show. I did, yes. <laughs> but I have Good. forgotten. This, these are, this is uh, the Voyager. The Voyager. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. You made a Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I can never forget anything named Voyager. I'm going to call this one the Janeway. <laughs> What's this one? Uh. Oh. Chicote. Chicote. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what it's really called. Uh, that's the Orion Nebula. Uh huh. And I think the Tiger's Eye Nebula, maybe. I say that with a question mark, but a confident Voyagers. question mark. Voyagers. Voyagers. So they were six ninety five, and now they're four fifty nine. Indeed. Indeed. I Isn't like the material on this one. Yeah, that was like the Janeway is nice too. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it the Janeway. <laughs> And uh, these are a little smaller. Oh, yeah, they are. Than, than an Opera Master. Uh, but feel really nice. Those are the Rembrandts. I was going to say that uh, these are the last of the Viscontis, but I see you have some in your tray, I'm too. I'm holding out on you. And these are Rembrandts, and you have a ballpoint. I do. And a fountain. I have. Yes, yeah, so let's see. This one is the oh, Eclipse. I, I have a rollerball. Ooh. And I, I think I also have a rollerball now that I think about it. You do have a yes, rollerball. Yes, I have a rollerball in Dark Forest and a ballpoint in Eclipse. And these are both um, uh, sort of metallic black acrylics with a swirl of color in it. Dark Forest has green. The Eclipse has gold. I think you've got an Eclipse rollerball over there. And then you have a Twilight ballpoint that sort of has like a magenta red swirl of I color like in it. the Eclipse. Yeah. The material speaks to me. Oh, that's oh, a really pretty the, version, too. Yes, I love that big, huge that? splash of, of the light color up there. Visconti does a really nice job with their material. Yeah. I, I, I love that every single one of them is a little different. Unique, even. Oh. Now, what are those Viscontis you're holding over there? These are also Rembrandts, but slightly different. These are the Ecologic. Aha. And they feel so unique. They do, don't they? Yeah, yeah. This is their, their, their sort of eco material, resin. and uh, nice feel, nice feel. Yeah. I like this color. That's yeah, the gray. I have here a green, some kind of blue. But it's a nice blue, tealish blue. A very nice blue, and then of course classic black. And these all have that really nice matte finish that feels nice and. Grippy too, like. So is this correct? They were MSRP is one sixty five. They're now one fifteen. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really good deal. I know, right? Everyone oh, needs a ballpoint. Oh. And then it's always nice to have a fancy, fancy ballpoint. That's, that feels nice too. Yeah. That's nice too. I'm going to turn the page here and move on to. I want that pen. Ooh. This is an St. Dupont. What is it? That is a D initial in shark blue. Shark blue. This color has always caught my attention. And now it's discontinued and on sale. It's almost like it's... Is that it right there? So MSRP was at 189 and now it's 151 Oh, oh now Fabulous. I need to buy all these pens. Ah, we've got a whole bunch of other D initial ball points. There's matte khaki as well. And that's a... So something with gold trim. Matte burgundy with Matt gold. Burgundy. Shark. Shark. Shark is my favorite of oh. all of them. And you've got the was it scarlet red. Scarlet red. Oh. Scarlet red. Yes, these uh, will go away quickly. Yeah, that's a really really great. What's that deal. next pen there? A really solid pen. So this is still the D initial, but now we have moved on to fountain pens and roller balls. So that's a fountain pen in electric blue. What color is that? <laughs> is that my color? You are. You know. You know. <laughs> oh. And. I wonder what colors they're bringing in. I know, or right? That's, if they're changing the design at all. I am. I am intrigued to to see what comes out yeah. next. They, Maybe they'll have the new ones at the pen party. <gasps> Maybe I'm going to start that rumor, even though I have no idea. Oh, I am. I'm. I'm. So on board with that rumor. So I will these, spread it. These are also D initials, but they're in the fountain. And is this impressing? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's see, they were 269, now they're 193.68. 193.68. Well, the 269 was MSRP. That I don't think we were selling them at full MSRP. There was already a discount, but now they're discounted even further. Well, That's true for all of them. Yeah, yeah. And also we have roller balls. Um, same D initial line. So we had the ball points, we had the fountains, and a and, roller ball. And we have the roller balls. Um, I don't think all of them are in stock in every modality, but we, they, all of this is in stock. Yes. As of right now, today, mm -hmm. uh, this was in the Tuesday mailer. So if you got that, you've seen this and perhaps mm -hmm. already made a purchase. Now we're getting into some Ooh, fun ones. Here. Extra what? shiny ones. Yeah. What is that? Hold that guy up. That is the Liberté ballpoint. Oh. I wonder if they're going to discontinue that one and bring out the Egalité and the Fraternité. That's what they should do. The have, you, have you written to them? We'll see them in July. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll, I'll tell them then. No, I really love this ballpoint. The taper is just really gorgeous. I, I hope they don't discontinue Could this be model yours. because this is my favorite Could be uh, yours. shape. <laughs> and then these guys, we've moved up to line D large, are they? Yeah. Are they all large? They all look large. They all look large. And they feel large. Are they in charge? And they're in charge. They are. Those are some the, boss pens. This one's my favorite. I don't know if it's your favorite. I think you like one of the Starbursts or Sunbursts or something. Yeah, this is a tough call. I've got decisions. Do we know what this one's called? Guilloche uh, of some the kind. Guilloche, the is Firehead it? Guilloche in Amber, This I is think. the Amber. Yeah. And this is a Sunburst, Starburst... Yes. Uh, doo, 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 doo. That's the gold dust, right? Yes, this is the gold dust. I think this is my favorite. I really like these big sparkles. I kind of like the the color pattern on this one. Yeah, the, that ombre is really nice. But I'm going to have to go with the gauche, just because it's it screams for more attention, so I like it. That's just one of those ones, I, all of their like lacquer over gauche, you just get lost in it. Whoa. Yeah, so much okay. detail. So the white one, I'm taking the white one. Which one are you taking? Uh, oh, you want the... Yeah, i got to yeah, go okay. with the Liberté. We, they're out of town. So oh, that, that, oh, <laughs> alrighty. <laughs> we could do whatever we want. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Never. So uh, not every single Visconti has been discontinued, and so not every Visconti is discounted, and not every SD DuPont has been discontinued, not every SD DuPont has been discounted, but these have been discontinued, they will not come back, they are discounted, so have fun. What job did the frog have at the hotel? Bellhop. Hey, hey Eric. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Who said that? Hi. Hey, Steph. How are you? <laughs> Yes? Let's try this one more time. <laughs> hey, Eric. Yes, Steph. We've got a contest from last week's APTV. Now, <sighs> we weren't here, but apparently Brian and Lisa asked about the one that got away pen. Surely you watched it. I, I That yeah. part of it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, it, it, Either a pen. I, it might have been your suggestion. Uh, yes. We usually discuss this. And yes. I think uh, this one the was one that my got idea. away. Yes. Because you have one that got away. Why don't you tell us which pen of yours got away? Once upon a time, once upon a time, Retro 51 came out with the Retro 51 Slim. And, and I thought, this, this is brilliant. Perfect idea. Love it. As a person that prefers a slightly smaller pen, they, they'd better make these forever. And they came out with the Ocean in, in the slim size. Slim Ocean. And it was such a beautiful design. I was like, they're going to make this forever. And I even bought one as a gift as a for gift. somebody else, thinking these will be here forever. And then I went to go buy one for myself, and they were discontinued. And it comes up once in a while. Yeah. It, it, this is one that you actually do regret. I think about it. <laughs> yes. I mean, not every day. No. Maybe no. not even quite every week, but, but definitely once a month. Once I think, a month, Gosh, I think. Yeah. Darn it. Because we do run into, mm -hmm. we do have conversations about Retro 51 mm -hmm. on occasion, and this usually comes up. Yeah. 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 That ocean. Uh, you also had another one that got away. I don't know if we want to talk about that. Oh, the lost the one? The lost one. Oh, I don't know that I can talk about <laughs> okay, that Okay, we won't talk about that. It's too hard. <laughs> 
Uh, I mentioned in the comment for this for last week's uh, video that the one that got away was an Omos for me. It was a lemon vodka. You, oh, you remember this? Oh yes, I do remember this pen. Somehow Aziza got it away from me, so she still has it. And she knows that if she ever wants to get rid of it, I get first dibs on it. So maybe. Oh, so maybe, maybe it hasn't gone all the way away. Not all the way, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how she got a hold of it. I do have some comments, oh, uh, comments that I'm going to share. Lori Bauer said, I really wish I was lucky enough to have been able to purchase a Lamy 2000 Bauhaus Blue. Ooh, don't I have we all? three 2000s. Uh, one of which is the special edition brown, so I really need the Bauhaus blue. I was, if you remember, went to Canada and was at Scriptus, which is their Toronto pen show, and they had, a couple people had the Bauhaus blue for sale. Oh, I passed cool. on it. I passed on it. And I don't think I regret that. It was, it was a, a little expensive, and in my opinion at the time, it wasn't blue enough. Um, their, their special edition colors for the Lamy 2000 are usually pretty mellow. But it, it is gorgeous. I totally understand how someone would regret not, not having gotten it. Sorry, Lori. Oh, yeah, that was a hard pen to get your hands on when they first came out, too. I remember. I think uh, the store only got two, and Chris, who worked here, got one of them. Yeah, I was going to say, were they both sold before they got here? Because yeah, I think things, they were both sold yeah. before they got here. Just, they never do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they never do that. Johnny Montalvo. The pen I miss most was a vintage 90s Mont Blanc 146 with an extra fine nib that was tuned and smoothed by nibmeister Mike Masuyama into an ultra fine. <gasps> I sold it to finance another Mont Blanc, but I still miss that pen and nib. Uh, I do have a pen like that, the Blue Hour, if you remember the Blue Hour. Yes, I, yes. I, I, somebody important is calling Steph. <laughs> I had uh, the Blue Hour... And uh, got the nib ground. It, the, the nib was fantastic. But then I got the Petit Prince, and I wasn't going to use both of them, so I sold the Blue Hour. And I, but I still miss that nib. I still miss it. Nibs are hard, the too. The pen is pretty, but that nib is what I miss the most on that one. I feel like nibs are sometimes real individuals. They are. That's the whole reason you have a pen, is yeah. the nib. Uh, I mean, I do like it when the, the pen is also very pleasing, but it's the nib that makes or breaks a pen. <laughs> Arabella Holsafel, I am not sure it counts as got away since it was produced during the time I wasn't aware of what fountain pens were available, but I wish I could have gotten the Pilot MYU or the later M90. You've seen this where the, it's like the, the platinum short longs, hmm. but the, the barrel turns into the nib. Oh, yes. I was going to ask what pen that was, but yeah. you're right. I absolutely do know. I've Beautiful. Uh, I've, gorgeous. I've had the, the original one, and I've had the M90. I think I would prefer the M90. Uh, the, more, the modern, they just redid it um, for an anniversary. Uh, but I sold them both because I wasn't using them. Uh, but they're really cool. So I understand that. I yeah. understand that. You've had a lot of really cool pens pass through. Yes. Uh, Yes. That's a good way to do it. You know? Well, that, that way, I think everyone should go through a lot of pens so you know what you like, what you have to keep. I try not to keep all the pens. That must be difficult. <laughs> yes, it is. But you, I'm narrowing it down. These are my favorites. I will always pick these up. Um, I'm, I'm still, it's a work in progress. Brian Marsh. <laughs> I regret all the pens I've sold, but the pen that haunts me is the Waterman 20 with sterling overlay that I hesitated to buy and then it was too late. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I ended up buying a Namiki Emperor to scratch that huge nib. Yes, uh, 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 a Waterman 20 has a huge nib. So I don't know why big big nibs are attractive, but that's the attraction of the, of the Emperor because that nib is like a shovel. It really is like a shovel. <laughs> oh, that produced some... <laughs> Disturbing mental images. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that name. Tim Chi uh, says, in my mind, none have gotten away. I just keep chasing. As long as it's out there, it is possible. For years, it was the Mont Blanc Hemingway, and finally, in hand last year. Uh, same that's with me. Some, that's some good Penzen. Same with me. I got mine last year. Uh, accidentally. It Penzen was there. from Tim Chi. Yeah. <laughs> Penzen They don't from get Tim away. Chi. They only continue the chase until tomorrow. Beth G, as I have so few, the one I miss most is the only one I've given away, my preppy. 
It went to a wonderful person, though, my child, who helped her dad pick out my Mother's Day gift, a Twisby Diamond 580 Rose Gold. Okay. Aww. That's nice. That's adorable. That's nice, yes. And uh, preppies. Yeah, everyone needs a couple of preppies laying around. It's true. It's uh, true. They're good pens. Mm. They're good pens. Yeah, I've got one, and it always writes. Uh, there has been a winner. There is a winner. A winner. The winner has been selected. The winner is Grant Cunningham, whose comment reads, The pen that got away, dot, dot, dot. An old-style Rotring 600 black with an 18-carat fine nib. I acquired it in mint condition at the beginning of my fountain pen habit. After writing with it a few times, I decided that I only wanted medium nibs. Sounds like you. And sold it to acquire a similar model, but with a medium steel nib. I have since learned, seen the light, is what I'm, I'm editorializing. <laughs> I have since learned that I, in fact, prefer writing with a fine nib. So getting rid of it turns out to have been a huge mistake. Wow, Grant, I thought we were on the same side. <laughs> It gets worse. My <laughs> wife decided she liked the new one and absconded with it, so now I have no rotring fountain pen at all. She does occasionally allow me to use it for short periods of time and only under supervision, of course. Part of the custody <laughs> agreement. <laughs> Grant, a uh, $20 uh, credit to your Anderson Pens account. Just write to me, eric at andersonpens.com, and I will take care of that. We have a new survey question contest. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we also... In I think this was you, too. Oh, yeah. Except because you just happen to have one on your desk. I, I should have brought it with me. <laughs> the question for this week is, do you have any pens that you have inherited? D that doesn't mean gifts, right? That means someone has passed away and you and now you have And you, you have been, in my case, you're the, the resident person who likes pens in the family, and so you'll, you'll end up with all the you pens. you get the pens. And I have none. None? I have no pens that I have inherited. Uh -huh. I only have... One two, that is, yeah, yeah, I've only got one, and that is my uh, Schaefer snorkel from my grandma that Brian restored Brian for restored me. And yeah, it was so perfect. It was like, oh, she's got this cool pen that she used to use all the time, but nobody can get it, get, uh, nobody can get it to write. And I was like, I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> he fixed it, too. Yeah, in like yeah. five seconds. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all we have, so maybe you should start us up there. All right. Well, thank you, as always, for joining us. And you can tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be back next week. You won't be. Brian and I next week. All and right. Then we'll go back to Lisa and Brian. So, bye. Bye. Bye.